Hey everyone, thanks for reading the blog. I thought I'd walk you through a quick edit of this photo using Lightroom's new color and luminance range masking. And that sounds like a big, scary, technical term that's gonna be really difficult to use, but it's actually really, really easy, really fast, and it makes editing your photos very accurate and precise, and it's easy to use and easy to learn. So I'm using Lightroom uh, CC Classic, that's the desktop version, and this is my photo straight out of camera in RAW. And so what I like to do before I start using any of the targeted tools is I like to do some overall global adjustments. So I've got some presets that I use all the time, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to brighten it a little bit. One click there. And then I'm going to recover clipping, so you can see I'll get rid of the blown out sky. And then I like to add just a little bit of warmth because this is a golden hour photo. So I'm going to warm it up a little bit. And you can see if you just look at it before and after, it's already looking better. But I've got, I still have an underexposed subject. So that's where I'm going to go into my brush tool. So I'm going to hit D for develop and then I'm going to go into my um, adjustment brush and I can hit K for, for the keyboard shortcut and it's going to open up the brush panel and know that this tool also works on the graduated filter and it also works on the radial filter but in this case we're going to use the adjustment brush now I've got presets that I like um, or you can start from scratch so I'm gonna add some light and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna loosely brush on uh, where I want to brighten up in my photo so I'm gonna go over here I'm just gonna brush over I'm gonna brush on her skin I'm going to brush her neck and face and you can see I wasn't super accurate um, just kinda loosely did that now I'm gonna go down here if you go to the bottom of your panel there's see where it says range mask and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose color. And then I'm going to use the eyedropper tool and I'm just going to kind of drag and click over part of her neck here. And when I let go, you can see that that really tightens up what I've brushed. Um, if you want to go, we can go back and look at that as a before and after here. So you can see it goes out. And once I click there, it goes in and it's much more accurate. So here I can go in and I'm going to turn the overlay over so you can see what we're doing. Um, you can see that it brightens it up, it darkens it out. Um, you can see exactly what it's doing here. So I'm going to go to about 0.73. That looks good to me. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit OK. And then I also want to um, I want to brighten up her shirt as well. In fact, I'm going to go back to my brush. If I click on it again, and I click on the little button here, it'll show my overlay. And I also just want to add just a tiny bit of warmth here, um, just to warm up her skin and her hair just a little bit to go with the golden hour. And then I'm going to hit Done. And I want to do the same thing. I want to brighten up her shirt, but I don't really want to warm it up. I don't want to add any yellow to her shirt. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to brush this on. I'm going to turn my overlay on so you can see exactly where I'm brushing. And again, I don't have to be super accurate because when I go down to the range mask, I can hit color, I can grab my eyedropper tool, and I can just draw over her shirt and you can see that it um, tightens up the selection there really nice. And then I'll just go ahead and do 0.74 again and it looks really good. So if you go ahead and you look at the before and the after, you can see that I now, I've fixed the highlights in the sky, I've warmed up the overall scene, and I've brightened up my subject. Now I can go in here and I can do some skin smoothing, maybe some eye sharpening, but overall, this picture really looks great. And it's one of my favorites from the entire shoot, and it was the, of course it was the last one that we took. If you have any questions, go ahead and uh, put it in the blog comments, and I will try to answer them. Thanks.